never seen the oh well, those rooms are ugly bro what the heck oh, those are ugly <laughs> what is this yes. what is this my buddy Alright, we got a plane that landed on Rose's feet, so we're gonna head over there now and uh, see what's going on. Gotta get there fast! Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Here, we're gonna figure everything out. I've got 1,020. Excuse me? Oh, Alright, hold on just one sec. It's obviously not good enough. Because you forgot to check the basic thing. Check the basic thing? I told you to do that, Richard. That's your responsibility. You were the pilot in charge, Richard. I was just right, there I'm teaching not in you. Charge, you're in charge. Someone forgot to check the, you're in charge. Uh, Who was in the left seat? Who was and, in the left seat? Uh, Alright, come over here. I just know. ended up. Who's in the left seat? Sorry about that. So apparently, uh, one of them detected. forgot to check the oil lines in the plane before they took off, and while they were in the air, it just road for a decided to collision. lose altitude. So right now, I'm trying to figure uh, out who's yeah, responsible for that. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Ah. Uh, yeah, that's that's what I was thinking. Well. I don't know what to do about this part. So, um, yeah, this, this is my first time experiencing this. So. They're just get a, like a a heavy wrecker for the plane, I guess, and um, I guess these two are gonna be in some big trouble if the uh, SDFA and ATC. Yeah, for sure, I'm gonna make sure both of them have licenses, etc. So. Yeah, just check their information, see if they have valid pilot's licenses. 
and then we'll go from there because from what their their conversation um was um it seems like they were equally flying what are, where are they going hey hey Sir, stop. Stop. We're gonna prove. Stop. We're gonna prove what you guys do. Sirs, stop. Sirs. Check this thing. Where's the ladder? What did the I just see? What did I just see? Both of you stop moving. Yeah, give me a paper towel, too. Are you gonna ignore me? I hear you. I, I tell I'm you, back over. Nope, back over comes. here. Back over here. If you want the back. seed to explode, it's gonna explode. Back over here, it's not gonna explode. Back over here. Hey, go, I'll place it right there. If it explodes, why would you go near it? Go back over there. Back over to the side. Back over to the side. Well, we wouldn't have been over here if you guys didn't walk back over here. 5040 can't have a heavy yeah, record for a 024 um, route 64 plane that landed on the. Road. All right, if I can get both of y'all's uh, IDs for me, please. Yes, please. You want my driver's license? Okay. As well as uh, pilot licenses, etc. There you go. All right, thank you very much. If y'all hold on just one second. Why does his siren sound like that? That's weird. I don't talk to nobody. I just look at them intensely, you know, into their their eyes. Dude, I don't look like pilots though, but you'll see. Okay, so I have confirmed that both of you have your pilot's license, etc. All that good stuff. Uh, so whose responsibility was it to check um, on the oil life? Exactly? No, are you kidding me? It was, you were, what were you in? Were you in the left or the right seat? That doesn't matter. You said you were checking it. That does matter. You're in the left seat. You're called the pilot in command. I'm Mr. not paying you for this hour. I'm not okay. doing it. What are you, are you kidding me? Time. You already did. I pay after. I don't pay before. Whatever. Deposit. It was a deposit down. Okay, so neither of y'all are gonna take responsibility for what just happened. It was him. I don't even. I don't even okay. have the airplane. It's a flight school. All right. Well, write them both a notice to appear in court and let the judges and detectives at ATC handle this. Because there's literally nothing we can do. So just write them notices to appear. Okay. okay. Sounds good. What What are we going to court for, sir? Yeah. What? You uh landed a plane. On the, on the road and we and that's illegal mm, pretty much because we didn't even get a mayday call you endangered the lives of a lot of people well, by we... landing this on the on the on the on the the, the road over here we squawked 7700 so i don't know why i didn't we, we, we told the other people around here well the other people aren't atc or law enforcement or anybody that could help you it is ATC. I don't know. I don't know how we're supposed to get over the radio for all these cars here. I don't know what what uh, radio channel you want us to be on to talk to them, tell them we're coming I mean, to land on the road. If ATC did their job and let law enforcement know, you would have had the entire road to to land safely. But no, nobody did. So what's going to happen is that you guys and ATC are going to go to court, 
Y'all are all going to have a big discussion for judge and then he'll decide or she will decide what's going to happen from here on out. You understand that? Emergencies happen too quickly to get the road closed off, man. Have you seen Captain Sullenberger? Yeah, and you and you, have you, you seen you know we're right next yeah, to the airfield? Okay, we, we were about to land and then we shifted to the right and then like that's when the right, started. right. So you shifted to the right and then all this happened. That was because that was because the engine failure from the oil. Yeah, because not you not didn't check the oil checked. pressure. No, no. Yeah, because no. you didn't check. But wherever it is, it oh, seems like it seems like it's gonna be user error either way. So, or somebody's error. So that has to be investigated by somebody, which is the detective, and then all of that evidence is gonna go to court either way. So you guys are and either way are gonna detective. be in court. Yeah. We'll call a detective out here. Well, you see, the thing is, our detectives are uh, investigating other things right now. So. Oh, but isn't there multiple detectives? They're they're both on the same call. One of them is new. Uh, we'll, we'll wait. We'll wait. One we'll of wait. them is new. I, I ain't waiting though. So. Okay, we'll wait. And then you can hey, so how are you gonna get my airplane out? Well, the oh. High school. Oh, I got a um a heavy wrecker on the way. Don't worry about that. A heavy wrecker? Okay. Uh, I'm probably gonna chop those wings off and uh, stick him in the back. Happened to the airplane. Oh. Look at it. It's brand new. Do you see that? Ain't nothing happened. Hey, let the let the company do what they gotta do. Ain't my fault y'all oh, landed. All we did was land it. Ain't my fault y'all landed the plane in the middle of the road. Y'all aren't you aren't flying that thing just, out of here. Hey, let's just put more oil in it and we'll fly it out of here. Come on. No. Let's yeah, just let's put more oil no, 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 no. Don't. No, that that's not happening. Sir, stop. 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 Don't move. What the fuck? Where did he go? What? Don't oh, move. What are you doing? That? Don't move. I'm putting the oil in. Dude. I said, I check, said, don't go back first. by check that plane. First. Stop what touching that plane. Stop it. What? Get away from the plane. Get away from the plane. Disobey my lawful commands one more time. I'm going to put you in cuffs. Do you understand that? Let me go pick up your uh notice. I'm literally like, checking the oil. Why 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 you are you not going you around the plane? The You're oil. disobeying my lawful commands. I'm telling you not to go to the plane and you can are I ignoring me. No. Okay, can I check the no. can I check the oil? No. Why not? Why not? I need to make sure it's okay. Oh, I need to but make I sure that I need I need to find out what the cause was before the little record gets here. Yeah. You're not gonna be able to do anything without a detective being here, so I guess we are all going to sit here and wait for the detectives. Okay, we need to because I can't, I'm not, we got to see what happened. Bet, no, go and have a seat over there. Don't, don't move. Five right. serif party to, do we have an active detective that can come available? Hey, sir. While we're waiting, I'm going to go ahead Can I have you 4024 investigating a plane? Back, as well as this notice to appear. It's not I'm not taking that notice to appear because, because there's nothing to appear to. All right. Well, hold on and wait off to the detective then. Until then, okay. here's both of your IDs back. Well, I, it, unless there's a valid charge on there for that notice to appear, I'll take it. But there's nothing on there. Right. All right. I'll hold on to these until an active detective can come, and then once All right. he investigates, I will hand you these. There's a big traffic issue here. 100%. If these guys would do their job. No. No. Don't touch it. Don't complain about the road. 
Yeah, but if you had done your job and look at the plane properly before you took off, then we wouldn't be in this issue right now. So, either way, it's you guys' fault. So. Aren't y'all supposed to do regular checks on your, your aircraft before you take off? Like, every time you take off. User disconnected from your channel. Sounds like somebody's not doing the job. I'm hearing a lot of siren, but I ain't seeing nobody. Uh, I think I see, I see somebody. Oh, here you go. You got two detectives. Why is it a red car? Never seen the. Oh, those rooms are ugly, bro. What the heck? Oh, man. <laughs> those are ugly. <laughs> what is it? Yes. Yeah. Alright, they're Shut saying up. that there's, um, uh, something with the oil on this plane or whatever, and they forced them to land on here, so you guys, I didn't get them, I told them not to touch it, but they touched it a couple times, so, crime scene is a little, uh, disturbed. Wonderful, alright. Union 20, we got that individual running, he's gonna be, uh, westbound Route 68, postal 4000. Right. Hello? Did you see that shit? Tell me you saw that shit! Alright, All right, you got this, you got the detectives with you, I'm, I'm off. Damn. Union 20, we're going to be uh, running alongside the uh, Brook Penitentiary 4000 in Westbound Route 68. It's going to be a Whiskey Mike, green plaid shirt, white cowboy hat, uh, blue jeans. I see a 40, show me. Attempting to catch up. 10 4, we are behind you. Oh, on the routes they see it. Did you just take your car? A for Hop in mine. Alright, we're good to go. In 20, we're gonna be in a 1080, and he's bound route 58. Gonna be a SSPD charger, fully marked with a light bar, uh, plate unit 20. Last scene, he's found around 58. Uh, unit 20, we have the vehicle, we're gonna be Panorama Drive 3037, just apply to the garage, northbound. Right turn onto Joshua Road. Now he's bound. Timer. Start it. He's bound. Joshua Road past Anna Ramp Correction Marina 3010. Continuing eastbound towards the highway. Sliding all over the road. Just spun out at 2048. Left turn on the CV road, northbound, CV 2048. Speeds at 80 miles per hour. You uh, turn at uh, CV road 2042, now going back southbound towards Joshua Road. They're all investigating a plane.
Oh. My bad. Don't no. move. Hey. Do not move. Do no, not move. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, Hit that thing. <laughs> yeah, you did. <laughs> hey, officer, can you take the prongs out? Alright, go on Excuse ahead me. and. So I'm gonna search you. You have anything on you? Put me sitting here, Uh, Bradley, you can get in my oh. car and I'll just uh, turn my siren off, please. Thank you. Excuse me. Sir, you got anything on you? Put me sitting here, hurt me. Hello? 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 Do you have anything on you that'll put me, stick me, or hurt me? Excuse me! Can you hear me? Hello? Can you take the prongs out, please? Can I get a 10.51 for a SSPD charger? A 10.50 to a rock. Hello? Hey, what are you doing? Right, Why there's are you a hang bang. There's a hang in here. Oh, wonderful. What are you searching me for? Hello? Hey, you there on the right, left. Can you uh, clear that? You were able to speak to me. Was this Hello? The individuals with, from the uh, semi crash? Uh, that's affirmative. Copy. Hello? I don't know what's going on here. I also found a knife over here. Alright, I'll take that and place it in your car. What are you people doing? Stop taking my stuff! Alright, so you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say and do can be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to an attorney uh, to have an attorney present to you if you during questioning. If you cannot afford one, won't be appointed to you by the state of San Andreas. Do you understand the rules I've read to you today? When are you gonna take the frogs out? Does this guy really hurts. can't he hear or something? Doesn't sound like it. Okay. I'm gonna write it down on a piece of paper and show him. Whoa! Hey, hey, can you take these frogs out of me? Oh, you want me to sit down? Okay. I mean, he could have just said that, but uh, okay. It'd be really hard for me to stand back up, you know. I think I should have a lawyer. Can I have a lawyer? 
It seems highly illegal. I think you did something illegal. Sorry about the car, by the way. I think I destroyed the suspension when I accidentally hit this part of the dirt over here, but it's only because I think I hit a car. Sorry. You want my insurance? Um, uh... It's in my semi truck. No? Okay. I'll take that as a note then. You guys have ice? Mm -hmm. Something? Those procs sure do hurt. Kinda feels like if you, if you took a wrench, you know, and you like, you like put it on a battery and then like, it, like it makes a little shock and it'll shock it. That's what kinda what it feels like. Or if you've ever like, you know, you ever like pinch your finger, or you like get a paper cut, yeah, it's kind of what it feels like, but like a thousand times worse. Ooh, ooh. And I say, I'm gonna... Uh, yeah, I understand. Now, why didn't you just say them to me, though? No, you haven't. I've got the best hearing in all of San Andreas. Hello, sir, can you hear me? I bet you, I bet, uh, oh, just one of those TV shows. Did I get pranked? Alright, uh. Oh, I bet I got pranked. Lieutenant, either. Oh, this is a good one. Keith, you there? Mm -mm -mm. Alright, I guess it's not in his brain right now. Um, the charges. Uh, pretty grand to follow. Um, felony evading. Uh, what else we giving him? Sorry about that. I'm back. Oh yeah. Are right, the charges? Uh, daydream real quick. All good. What charges are we getting him for? Um, I can't write it on this piece of paper. Um, he's he's deaf, so I gotta write it down. Oh. Okay. All right. Um, if you could just uh, uh, just hand the piece of paper to me real quick, and I'll take care of it when I get back to the station. Okay. Uh, it's just gonna be felony evading. Felony evading arrest, um, Grand Theft Auto. Uh, oh, you might want to also get him, yes. get him medical attention, because I think he's bleeding yeah, from the ears. But I've already showed him his rights and everything on the piece of paper. So, okay. am I going to right, jail? Perfect. Um, can I, uh, Bradley? Can I have you put him in your car so we can just get him to the station because we have to arrive with Chad. Thank you. I got a Mr. taco. Tommy Toe is here for my car. Hey, if apparently if I am what you say, death. Um, is that is that is your friend of yours mad that I kind of messed up his car? I hope he's not. Oh yeah. Oh, you want to stand up? Okay. I'm gonna be up to driving a Vic for the next two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. I tell you that means I'm good to go then. All right, I can walk this way then. Oh, or not. Oh, or not. There it is. Hey, what are you doing? Yep. Did we get a name from him? Uh, no, I didn't see an ID on him when I when I searched him. Okay. I think Delete somebody them. pulled him over Meet earlier though. Number one at five requesting a ten fifty one flatbed at four zero two. I want a lawyer. Five zero forty two seven rubber one eight five. Go ahead. Um, the individual you had earlier in the uh, accident who's deaf. Uh, did you get a name for for him? A uh, negative. We had no chance to talk. Ten four. 
Alright, uh, I'm gonna call the hospital real quick and see if I can get a name. Alright, we could also run it through, uh, 10-9. 1022. We can also run it through, <laughs> we can also run it through, um, finger printing. Like, the fingerprint okay. scanner. Yeah, we'll have to do that because the hospital didn't get enough time to get one. Man, that was crazy. Yeah, a little. Yeah, I, I kind of, I kind of hate that he made me go off road, but <laughs> now I gotta take this thing into the shop, make sure I didn't pull anything or break anything. Yeah, I think your alignment's a little messed up. It's a little bumpy up here. Yeah, and it's drifting a little bit. Can't keep it straight, so. Yeah. Make sure you have them replace the uh, blinker fluid as well. Yeah. The blinker fluid, there it is. <laughs> yep, now getting the power down to the wheels now. Okay. Well. <sighs> I guess I gotta drive the Vic too. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh! Oh! Oh, Jesus! <laughs> Oh, wow. <laughs> um, what is ow, that? Ow. Everybody okay? <laughs> what the I'm fuck? good. Okay, now I'm filing a lawsuit. Okay. Okay, I'm, I'm so confused. I just like teleported. You good? I don't know. There's <laughs> there's some uh some weird forces going around in the world today. Let's let me you must be a full moon phone. or something. Yeah, probably a full moon. Well, I'm, I definitely can't drive this car. Yeah. Yeah, no, no, now your alignment is definitely messed up. And the ram bar. And his blinker is out, so I guess we'll all be driving Vix. <laughs> I guess so. Do BCS all even have a Vic? I don't okay. know. Okay. Well. Lawyer. 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 The colonel ain't gonna like this. Let's fingerprint him real quick. So bring him out. Bring him out here real quick. We'll fingerprint him. Lawyer. Lawyer. I want a lawyer. Toss it you damn right here. I want a lawyer. Give me a lawyer. Oh, shit. Y'all give me a lawyer right now. We'll file a lawsuit. Okay, I'm gonna file a lawsuit This guy passed on a double yellow. You want the people that will line the plant for us, you two are charged. Uh, negative. There's nothing the penal code to charge them with. Copy. Uh, the colonel's not gonna be happy. Oh, yeah, you have to tell me damage this car. I just washed mine, too. It's the third one this week, and the week just started. <laughs> Uh, oh boy. Imagine. Five zero party show me 1097 oh. code 3 to the nearest 911 call. You better go. Same traffic on one of my calls. Wow. Dylan. Alright, let's get there quickly, y'all. I don't know what's going on, but let's get there quickly. Fifty. Are you at the lighthouse? Uh, ten four. I'm at the house right next to you. Ten four. Uh, show me 
just uh, some uh, difficulties at birth and just kind of how his uh, chromosomes and all those fancy terminologies are. Uh, long story short, he's uh, developed in a strange way and, you know, he's mentally a lot slower than most. Long story short, he's walked off somehow and we, we, we keep him around the entire Road, time, but he walked off and we don't know where he is. And we just want you to get him back. Occupied. You wandered off, right? I have a canine. Do you have any idea of how I can get a scent for my dog and we could search for him? Oh uh, yeah, I might have a scent for you, but you, you gotta be careful because he can he can get agitated very quickly and easily and he can get very aggressive, but it's not yeah, not, not because he wants to, but, to, you know, I, I'll, I'll get you yeah, that piece fine. of cloth, okay? Yep, okay. Ranger up. Alright, what's going on? Somebody ran away. He lost his kid. <laughs> yep. Well, I guess he wandered off, so. Hmm. There you go. Hasn't been washed, it should uh, smell just as much of them. Some Bravo 201, can I get an additional 1032? Actually occupied two gone. in the uh, backyard and uh, I mean to our knowledge we don't think is he armed uh, uh, no uh, he, he, he might have a uh, you know, one of those uh, what do you call them? not a pocket knife a uh, switch blade Swiss army knife yeah Swiss army ah huh. yep. all right where's your scent carrying you uh, just wait here for you. <clears throat> Down this road. All right, I'll get my car. Forty. I'm gonna be cold six in the area of uh, two zero five seven. Got the dog out, yo. Should have had an SUV. Should have been so much better. That doesn't sound good. No, it doesn't. Um, I got two people up here over this hill. 
I'm gonna go check. Alright. Hi, buddy! Oh. Uh. Oh. Uh, hello? Hi, I'm Trooper Hall with the San Andreas State Police. <laughs> You're coming out because your dad's worried about you? Said you wandered off? Well... Uh, well, get flower? A flower? You get flowers? Oh, you got flowers? Yeah, yeah. You wanna take that flower and head back home? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's let's get you heading back home, all right? Oh, I want more flowers. Uh, lot, lot, big flowers. More flowers. Well, let's collect like a few flowers and uh, yeah, let's collect a few flowers and let's get heading back home. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, ah. I have oh. we found one individual. Oh, oh, okay. Okay. Alright, you got your flowers? E yes. Alrighty. So, your dad said he had a Swiss, ar Swiss army knife on you. Do you still have that? Oh, yeah, yeah yes. I use Alrighty, it to, you... to cut flowers. Oh, okay. Alright, do you mind if I take that? Oh! I didn't want it. Oh. It's okay, don't worry about him. Oh. Oh, what, what? Don't worry about those guys. So wanna start... Yeah, don't worry about these guys. Spiking. Yeah. Don't worry about these guys. Spiking. How about this? We'll give you a ride back home with your flowers. Okay. okay. Alrighty. There you go, Chad. Do you wanna just put it in the back of your vehicle? Yeah. Can I? Can I? Start heading over to this police car over here. Oh, where the fuck is your police oh. car? It's back over there, a little bit way oh, over the hill. Okay, oh, I, I thought you drove back up. No. All right, you want to start following us, buddy? Yeah, uh, I can do that. Alrighty, let's start going this way. Oh, okay. Dog, dog, friendly? Oh, okay. I believe so, you have to talk to him. Yes. This is cool. Okay. This is a cool call. Where are they at? Yep, grab a, grab a few of the yellow flowers right there. Yellow flowers right here. Yep, go ahead. Uh, touch flowers. 
Okay, I have flowers. You have all your flowers? You ready to go home? Yep. Alrighty, let's get going home. Okay. I'm gonna put you in the back seat of this car, okay, buddy? Alright, hold on, you still got a knife on you? Yeah, yeah, you don't. I, if he's gotta be in your back, I wouldn't. Yeah. Because of AMS. Ah? Uh -huh. Because of AMS. AMS. Alright, no problem. Right I didn't know what AMS is. Yes, I'm a police officer. Yeah. Well, we don't really take them out. We, 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 you know, help them correct their mistakes. You know. Oh, oh. I, I'm not a b b b bad guy now, am I? No, we also help good people, people that just need help. So, persons like you that just need help, we come and we help you. You know. We don't only take care of the bad guys. We take care of good people too. Yeah, that, that, that's a that's a very very tiring job. Yeah, it is. It's very very tiring. But somebody's got to do it. A farmer? Yeah, I can have all kinds of pretty flowers. Yeah. And, and I can have the, the, the types of the sunflowers and the, all the other types of flowers. I think you should do it. You love flowers, so go ahead and do it. On this plant? Yep. On all the roads right here. Oh. That's cool. Yep. They're, they're worth some of the most money. I make bequests for all sorts of people. Mm -hmm. I sell them for five dollars. Five dollars. That's, that's quite a bit of money. But they are very pretty flowers. Yeah. So why don't you uh, like like take them and put them in like a a, a little um what do you call those things? Like a nice vase. Vase. Yeah, you could you could put those in a nice vase and uh, store them and 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 keep them around so you can look at them all the time. Keep them watered and everything. Just take care of the flowers. We've never, never bought a vase before. Yeah, maybe ask your dad, and he can probably get one for you. Yeah, that would be good. Do I, do I just like push on the, 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 the door? I'll, I'll, I'll open it for you. Hold on. Alright, you can hop out now. Thank you.
Did I just see police? Oh, there's, there's a, uh, we got your son here. You know, so just going down the trail, getting some flowers. Just, just uh, you know, just make sure you uh, talk. I want to start talking to you somewhere. Oh. You just switched character. Well, thank you uh, for bringing him back. Alright, if you have any other problems like that, just make sure you call 911 in the future. Have a good day, sir. Yep, you as well. I'll be back tonight. Now, God damn it, what were you thinking? Why, why would you do that? Oh, and you do all you do is get some flowers, huh? You got flowers? That's what you went out of the way for? You caused me all this trouble just to get flowers. Huh. No, you, you, you don't need flowers or anything like that. Sir? What? Can I talk to you over here real quick? User left your channel. Yeah, I got a second. All right, what, what, what do you want? What do you want? You weren't this rude to us a couple minutes ago when you lost your son. What's going on here? No. Sorry, what was that? You weren't this rude to us when you lost your son. You were very respectful, and now you're going to come up to me and ask me what I want because I asked you, a asked you to come over here and talk to me real quick. What was that about slapping okay, well, the... See, here's the problem. I I'm allowed to treat my kid however I want, as long as I'm doing everything within legal standards. Is that right? Do you know that that, that treating a um, mentally or, or mentally unstable child like that is breaking some laws? You know that you could also have the, the um, Child Protective Services come out here and take your son from you? To, just to, by the way you're treating him right now? User joined your channel. Do you really think that is right to treat a child like that, especially one that is having development issues? How is that fair to the Honestly, child? I don't see. I, I don't see any problems with it. I think I'm doing exactly what I have, and the legal right is being a parent. Yeah, you might have legally, but in the end, that child is going to sit down there and suffer. There's probably a reason why he wandered off and went to get flowers because you're training like this and he's trying to escape from that. You being like this and is not doing any good for your kid. It's going to make your kid even worse and we're going to have different issues. What if what what would you have done if we had fallen in down there under under the, the teeth of a cougar? What would you have done? I can't say what I would have done. I tell you what, that would have been a real shame. It would have been sad for me, my family, but we would have gave him a proper burial, and that would have been the end of that. Wow. Okay. Well, that's not fair to your son at all for at least appearing to act like that. You have to have some sort of sympathy or or um, sensitivity in your heart because this child didn't ask to be this way. This child didn't ask to to come into this world this way. And you shouldn't be treating that that child like it's every everything is that child's fault. It really isn't that child's fault. And sitting here and blaming them for a whole lot of stuff, and instead of actually sitting down talking to your child and teaching them the correct way, that is that you didn't have to smack those flowers at that child's hand. The child clearly has an attachment to the flowers, and I think that you should use that to help the child to learn even better. Well, I think you can teach your people how you you can teach your children how you want to teach your children. But I'm gonna teach my child how I want to teach my child. Okay. Okay. Unless I check, you're no uh, you're not no uh, parenting guidance counselor. I'm Everybody, not a parenting guidance counselor, but I'm I am law enforcement, and I do and I do sit here and I am here to protect people all walks of life, whether they're an adult or a child. So it might not be my right to do something right now, but. You betcha there's going to be some people coming to your door shortly. I don't oh, think this child is safe here. Yeah? I'm not. Uh, right no, now? I'm not threatening you. I'm telling you this is a promise. Because I'm taking this up the line now. Especially the way you're acting. 
my body cam recorded everything from the time we came here and we talked to you till right now the way how you are acting and that's gonna go up in court and i'm i'm not threatening you i'm just letting you know well if that's the case then you have a fantastic day you as well do not hit that child Stop messing with the god dang flowers. Oh, Put the flowers uh, off on the side. Five zero forty. Can I have child protective services two zero five seven? Um, might have a case of an abused child. I, I dislike parents who do stuff like that. And for um, there's no nothing that we can typically do right now as law enforcement. Um, we'll have to leave that up to child protective services. Yeah, parents and like I and Drake did an excellent RP there, I'm not gonna lie. That was excellent, but that's really realistic how how, how parents behave and treat their children. And I know some officers in real life they they keep quiet about it and for fear of triggering the parent to do something differently. You know, like escalating it. However, you know, I think that there's something should be said because if there's something that could be said, I think it should be said. Just based on, just because, you know, you could potentially change that parent's perspective on how to deal with the child or how to handle a situation like that. So, hopefully, you know, there's nothing wrong with um, the child and the parent doesn't uh, take my, um, my thing really badly and it doesn't turn into, um, Hopefully not like a child abuse case or a homicide and in that stuff. So yeah, let's hope. 